remind you, and this is very important, every week I receive a call from, the, from Hartford and from Easton Town Hall reminding us about the limitations of attendance in the church. Uh, we're not as strict as we are as they are in New York, but I guess with the Supreme Court ruling. Thank God. Uh, thank God. But nevertheless, I have to remind you. I don't want you to be upset with the epitropes or with the president when they remind you that you cannot sit together. We still have to take the temperature. We still have to wear our masks covering our nose and our mouth, and we still have to keep social distancing if we're not family living together. So if you don't live in one household, you have to keep that six foot distance. And this is why we've taped off the aisles so that you can keep that distance. It's very important because we never know, there may be an inspector comes in one day and closes us down because we're not following the rules, or even worse, to give us a fine. Now, there were churches in New York, and one of our Romanian churches in Queens was closed down and given a fine because there were too many people who were not keeping their social distancing. This is no joke. It's no joke. Holy Ghost Church is closed down because people have gotten COVID. One person got it, and then another person got it the following week. They have no services. So what's better, to have a service where we're distanced or to not have any services closed down? And I remind you, I don't know, when we get to heaven, are you going to want to sit in the front seat or in the back seat? Because everybody here wants to sit in the back. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Alexander and Claudia and Jeffrey, for coming and filling up the front. Michael and Don. But don't fill up the back first. Fill up the front first. And then fill up the back. And you don't have to sit on the sides, you can sit in the middle. There are Sundays, it's not too bad today, but there are Sundays when you're all on the sides and all on the back, and I have nobody here that I'm talking to. Please, this is very important. Until we get over this, we have to be very careful. God forbid that any of you should get sick. And God forbid that any of you should get sick because of somebody in the church. And I told you, this is the reason that I'm not doing house visits or hospital calls or nursing homes. Nursing homes, I can't go to anywhere unless you make an appointment. But I don't want, because there's so many people, I don't want to be the carrier of the disease to anyone, nor do I want to get it from anyone to give it to bring it to you. So we have to be very careful. Please, I hope that by Christmas time we can throw away the mask and everybody can be hugging and kissing and say Merry Christmas. I doubt it, but nevertheless, that's our hope. And we await it eagerly, at least Easter time. Thank God we're late this year. We're later than Western Easter. We have another month to prepare, so maybe we'll be all right. Thank you. God bless you all for being here. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving, and that you did actually give thanks to God. And thank you for his blessings, because we have so, so many blessings.